So the next experiment we are going to change just the um, stride. That means that we're reducing the downsampling and upsampling factor. So before we used 512 and now we are using 32. And you see that now the number of subbands is equal to the N factor for downsampling and upsampling. So we have 32 up channels. We have the same kernel size as before, but we have now stride equals to 32. And we will try to see what happens. So basically now we are processing more data as our strides are much smaller. So the model is exactly the same. We just changed the stride value and we will do the same thing. So it's the same audio for training and for testing. Everything stays the same. We still have this round robin with the shift by one to the right. We are adding noise for training. But now you, you will notice that it trains or it optimizes much slower than before because now it has to process much more data. And here again, we're plotting the encoder and decoder filter coefficients. And here we will test our model using the training file. So here we have the target and the predicted signal. And we can listen to it. So this is the same as before. There is no change on the training um, file. Apart that we are adding different noise every epoch. So we see the noise there and now the reconstructed signal, so the output of our model, and we have So it is a bit denoised, so we perceive less noise than the original. Um, the input to our model and it's now less muffled than before. So if we compare this with the experiment where we used uh, 512, the stride of 512. So it's less muffled. And here we can also do the same for the validation, so our verification, not using the same file as we train, but using a different file. Here we have our reconstructed. And here was the original, the input of the model. So we can perceive, we can perceive more noise. So it seems that our denoising autoencoder is working. And we can also uh, change parameters, change hyperparameters change the network structure and try to achieve better results and of course you would need to use very good and big data set to achieve a good uh, autoencoder the noise encoder. so we see that uh, when it finally the model is finally trained we can hear that the signals indeed sound a bit better and less muffled. And this also shows the effect of the stride. So too low 
it means uh, there will be a long training and too high we will obtain less quality in this case so that's it for this tutorial and we will continue with um, more on machine learning for audio signals in python next time